All right. It's Thirsty Thursdays. I thought it was Friday, man. I got my family coming up, and I was kind of excited about it. But um, it's only Thursday, so I got to wait another day. Get me some kitty hugs. Um, kitties. I got young adults, but still nice to see them. So, um, anyway, enough of the mushy stuff. Um, what we're looking at right here is the futures, S&P futures. And, okay, so we got the momentum, um, trending nicely. We made this low, we rebound. Nothing's really happening until we break this pivot high right here. And then, um, perhaps we make a higher high and then we're looking for a, um, higher low and a higher high and see if we can get this trend to change and kind of ease on back up. Um, and, and, um, I'm looking for like 4,500 throughout the summer. That would be, that would be dandy. Um, and, but uh, you know, I don't really need the volatility. I just need a consistent move. I'd like the volatility to die off because this is the uh, season of income trades. And I just want to know that, um, I could take those without, um, so, uh, um, additional risk. So, um, so that's what we're looking at, but it looks like we might be, might set up a little head inverted head and shoulders down here, this being the head and we're building the second shoulder. So um, I'm thinking that we should come up, um, another 30 or so points from where we are and then, um, maybe retrace a little bit and then away we go. Um, so that's what I'm watching for. I'm watching for that head and shoulders pattern to build. And then I know we should get a little move up, um, into the 4,100, uh, range. Um, roughly. I got nine. So we're talking about roughly 130 points. Yeah, we should get about uh, 125, 130 out of it. And that makes sense. It'll put us right around the, uh, the cloud. Hmm. Actually, you know what? We should get about 2.30 out of it. So that would be good. Would be good, would be good, would be good. And uh, let's take a look at what the SPX looks like. And you could see that same kind of head and shoulders pattern building right on the uh, on the daily SPX right here. So we're going to keep our eye on that, man. That's what we're looking for. Right now, I'm just being very conservative and just trying to get a feel. I want to see these 150-point days... Um, fall out of the market. I mean, it's too aggressive for the S&P. S&P should be moving 30, 40 points a day, you know, up or down. Um, you, you know, this is just crazy, crazy, crazy selling. And um, I'm just waiting for it to uh, tamper a bit. As a matter of fact, um, I see uh, some of the futures um, firms are restricting day trading margin requirements. So, you know, like for the S&P 500 in, in a futures uh, account, you only need about $500 a contract. Um, normally, I think it's about $2,500 a contract. So I think they're freezing that um, 500 requiring that you have 2500 a contract to trade because um, there's so much volatility. Um, and it's an unusual time. So you know what? These unusual times, I'm stepping back. I'm not making the money I normally make, but I'm stepping back. Well, not on... on on um, income trades. Um, directionals are doing very, very well. And normally uh, I would stream those, but um, I don't really focus when, when I'm streaming. Um, so I stopped the streaming and um, been doing the trades. So um, yeah, directionals are really good. And uh, I'm finding that um, 30 second charts um, on, on the really fast days um, normal days, one minute charts and watching 15 and 30 minute charts. And that's been doing quite well. 
quite well for me. Um, so taking a look at the 10 year, um, you could see a head and shoulders in the 10 year and it, it, it broke uh, the neckline right here. And um, again, I think we're looking at about 24, somewhere around the 24 range. And uh, BTC, just consolidating. Um, you're going to have to wait for risk on to make a move on that. Um, I'm not terribly frightened of buying it here. This is a little unfortunate. You got a uh, flag on your your um, your 240 on your 120s. But the 60 minute looks like a flag trigger. It looks like it's about to fail. If it, if it breaks above the high of 29.145, then um, then that's a failed um, bear flag, which means it could turn into a bullish move. So watch that if you're day trading uh, BTC or intraday trading BTC. Watch it. Watch it now. Yeah, that's it, man. There's really not a whole bunch going on. Not a whole bunch. Um, got a lot of green on the screen. Apple's taking a little hit. Google, I mean, it's up insignificantly, but I'm... NVIDIA um, is down seven. Not terrible. Not terrible. I thought it would drag the market down, but I think everybody un already understands um, the, the, the climate. So, I believe... Um, I don't know. If you wanted to buy something, I'd say uh, this is a good time to start chipping away at it. I like these ranges. You can see we're making... Um, well, we're making a new low. I mean, really can't call it yet until we move up off of it. And see if we can establish a trading range. Let's see what that weekly is looking like. Yeah, it's an inside bar for the weekly. It doesn't really tell us much. Momentum finally looks like it might be rolling around. Um, if we close like this uh, this week, then um, a break of, of this week's high is a good way to trade it. And then um, the tests will be around the 490. But there's some gaps in there that's going to attract us. And I think at the very least we should be filling those gaps over the next week. Let's just hope things calm down a little bit. People can start feeling good again. It's been quite some time since we did feel good. All right, so that's it for me, man. Um, everybody just watch your downside and good luck trading.